Hello everyone, this is Captain Moses and I would like to discuss about how to operate lights and signs of the aircraft. So first light to discuss is beacon light. It's an anti-collision beacon or a rotating beacon lights. So one on the top, one on the bottom, color red. And next is wing light. This is lights uh, lightening the wing and engine side. And then next light is nav logo lights or navigation and logo lights. Uh, it has red color lights on the left wing tip and green color on the right wing tip. And it has a white the color light on the tail cone. And next light is taxi and takeoff light. It located uh, under the nose part of the aircraft. And then next, strobe lights. This is a white color blinking lights on the both side of the wing and then tail cone. And this is landing lights located under the wing and uh, it's color white. And then this is a runway turn off lights. It located beside taxi and takeoff lights and used for ground movement. So today I prepared the Airbus 321 aircraft to give you some demonstration. So before we discuss about exterior lights, I'd like to discuss about the uh, signs first. So we have seatbelt signs, no smoking signs, and emergency exit light. So first, usually when we enter the cockpit, all of this signs are turned off and at first normally we, we place emergency exit light to arm so if in case of any emergency that uh, emergency lights will be illuminated for no, no smoking signs most of airline in the world now they no longer practice smoking inside cabin so usually we put it in the auto and then smoking signs will be turned on in, in the cabin and the seatbelt signs, normally we turn this on when we commence boarding. However, in case if we still do the refueling while boarding, for immediate uh, emergency evacuation, we turn this off during the refueling. And once the refueling is done, we announce and advise cabin, and then we turn this on again. And normally we maintain the seatbelt signs on until 10,000 feet. And once we pass 10,000 feet, and if there's no turbulence or if air cab is normal situation, then we bring it back to up position. So that's the time the cabin crew can start their service. And likewise, when we are approaching for landing to our destination, passing 10,000, we switch this on again until we park at the gate and until the engine is shut down. And sometimes if we encounter any emergency or encounter any turbulence or weather situation, then we also turn this on. All right, then now we'll discuss about exterior lights. So let's start with NAP logo lights. So let's go to outside and we'll take a look into NAP logo light. So now you can see the red light on the left wing tip and green light on the right wing tip and there's a white light on the tail cone when i was student pilot and when i just started flying in the aviation college my instructor taught me like this way for me to be able to memorize it the uh, easier way like uh, right side right hand side or right side should be always right because it's right and then left side is opposite part of the right which means negative. So when you're right, color should be green because it's normal or it's right. When you're negative, it should be red. So he taught me to memorize this way. So up to now, I never confused with the location of color. So always remember right side for the green and then left side for the red. And tail cone or tail side for the white color of the NAP logo lights. 
So we discussed about NAP logo lights and now we'll discuss about wing light. <clears throat> Unfortunately, in the simulator, the wing light is not working on the exterior view. So I cannot really show you how does it looks like. But earlier presentation, I was able to show you the location of the wing light and how does it appear. So when you go to outside, the wing light supposedly located like this area and then supposedly lightening up to the engine and uh, wing side so normally we use this wing light for outside 360 inspection or to check if there's any ice accretion on the engine or wing and depends on the company SOP but in our airline or most of airline they prohibit to use this wing light on the ground to avoid the refraction to other pilots and traffic. Now we'll discuss about the beacon light. And normally we use this beacon light uh, before we start the engine and after shut down the engine. So when you see that the rotating beacon is running, that means engine is about to start or engine is sh just shut down or engine is running. Basically engine is running. So we'll check out how does it look like from the outside. So beacon light is color red and for Airbus 321, we have a two beacon light. One on the bottom and then one at the top. And it looks like blinking because they are rotate, rotating. Next one is strobe light. Normally strobe light, it's color white and also blinking from the wingtips and tail. We use this strobe light when you are entering the runway or crossing the runway or in flight. So from the time you line up on the runway all the way down to you touch down on your destination and you get out of the runway, this strobe light must be turned on. So the other traffic can easily notify that uh, there's another traffic on the other side. So as I said, it's color white and it's a blinking it's located on the each of the wing tip and then tail cone side so next we'll discuss about taxi and takeoff light basically they are located almost same location which is a uh, nose side of the aircraft and we use this for ground movement normally run a turn off light and then taxi light they are coupled or so the takeoff light. So usually when we do taxi out or taxi in, we turn this both lights together. And takeoff light, usually we use it uh, for takeoff or landing. So once we get the takeoff clearance, we turn this on. And once we get the landing clearance or gears down, then we turn the takeoff lights on. And then when we turn off the taxi or takeoff light, then we always turn up together with the runway turn up light together. So they are just like boyfriend, girlfriend and couples. So I'll just try to show it from outside. Okay, so when you see the outside, the one uh, facing straight to the front is taxi and takeoff light. It's basically like low beam and high beam. And the one beside the taxi light on both sides that's a runway turn up light. We use it for ground movement and uh, gives more visibility. And now we'll discuss about landing lights. For landing lights, we have a left and a right side and it's a retractable. So it has a retract, then off, then on. So normally the landing lights of Airbus 320, 321, their family, it's located under the wing between the engine and then the fuselage. So it's a retractable means like uh, before we turn this on, we have to extend the landing light. So when you turn place on the off position, the landing lights will go down and extend it to down towards, then uh, it will be preparing to turn on the light. And when you switch on, then lights will come out immediately. And when you place to retract, then the lights will retract 
inside the wing. Because once landing lights are uh, extended, it will produce more drag. So it will cause more negative or more drag against the aircraft performance. And likewise, if you are flying at a high speed, there may be bigger chances for us to aircraft to damage or d break the part of the landing lights component. That's why usually we retract the landing lights when we are passing 100,000 or 10,000. And when you're approaching to your destination for landing, same manner we turn this on below 10,000, at or below 10,000 feet for the preparation of the landing. So finally, I'm done for a topic today and I hope you guys enjoy it and like my video. And uh, if you like it, please don't forget to subscribe and like it on the YouTube. Likewise, please share with your friends so that I can uh, make more good videos for you guys. And if you have any comments, then feel free to leave uh, comments or message. Thank you for watching and have a good day and see you around.